sitting up here powder pink, bitch. I ain't shaved up under my arm. You know I'm getting old back ass nigga to come Your pussy place. powder pink and my pussy doo doo brown. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's start out with the docket, bitch. This is the docket, docket number 12918. First up on the docket, we have the Grammy. <clears throat> Sis, what did you think about the Grammys last night? Yes, Kendrick Lamar. They oh. started off right with Kendrick Lamar and they should Before have... you start talking about, you know, what you really thought about, I just want to jump right in and talk about the fashions, bitch, okay? Oh. <laughs> yes, Kendrick Lamar. I couldn't even. I was uh, we started. I was studying the fashion. Okay. So we gonna start out with this fashion you got right some here. Fashion no nos. Now listen, I ain't no dresser. I ain't a bitch that put on no sickening clothes like that. I'm not a girl that wear Ferragamo and Gucci and Prada and that, all that other shit. Well, who made that? I don't know who made that. It looked like this company made it right here. You see this company right here? The company who made the coffee filter. <laughs> yes. Can you pull one out? Can we? Let's let's build her dress really quick. Can we build her dress really quick, so Put it together. Put Cardi B dressed together real quick. How we gonna put Cardi B dressed together? It look like this. Here go the, here go the example. This the example. <laughs> this the example, okay. This the back, or is this the side? Oh, oh this gonna be the breast. Oh. <laughs> look, this, the, this gonna be the breast, these two. Go ahead. Why she got that weird smirk on her face with that type of gown and them knees? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep oh, building. You got the beauty. You didn't the like the dress. Who designed the dress? This going to be the... But I need a staple or some glue. <laughs> Sister, we got we got a, something that got to put the dress together. You didn't like Cardi's dress? Uh, the people, we going with the call in number is 515. Uh, uh, what we is the people friend? sent this picture in a Cardi B. 515-604-9300. We'll talk about do this. Do y'all like tonight. it or do y'all hate it? I don't know. But I it, don't like that look on her face. So, so you hold it. Let me see if I can put it together. Let me. Y'all like this? Y'all like Cardi's dress? There it go right there. That's, that's the it. dress? That's the top. That's the bottom. That's it right there. Who designed it? I don't know who well, this is her first year at the Grammy, so I don't know. They maybe they wanted her to have, you know. I don't know. Can somebody something that stood out? Can somebody plug? Were those that? wings in the back? Can somebody plug up that shredder so I can go? On and <laughs> oh, you don't like it? Who next? I want to go on and shred that up. So that means no. You don't like this. I want to plug this shredder up. I need to go ahead on and get rid of it's that. It's a no on Cardi's dress. Shred all this. Just put all this in the shredder. And let it go. It's a no for Cardi's it's dress. It's a no for Cardi's dress. Who next? Who's next up? And it's just <laughs> mine. Then we'll just move on. Okay, right now I got mm. Leandria Johnson. Leandria. What's her husband now? Her real husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was Leandria's date? <laughs> it's a no for the dress and a no for you lying. <laughs> was the real husband invited? Was that who? <laughs> Hated it. Hated it. Hated, Hated it. it. Okay, we're going to put that. Did you plug the shredder up? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You did. Go ahead on and drop. Craig, drop that in the shredder. You don't Just, like that. I don't like that. Drop that in the shredder. Drop both of them at the same time. Is, 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 did you flip it on? Oh. Okay. It's a no. It's a no. All right. This is also Leandria. This is to the pre dread the pre brunch, the pre. Was it, was it cold? Was it cold in L. A. Was it cold? They wasn't in L. A. They was in New York. New York. Oh, it probably was cold. I don't know. Please plug. You ain't like that either. Plug. Gonna put that in the in the shredder. I gonna them shoes was gonna put that in the shredder. Y'all, do y'all? Is it a yes or a no? No. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. Okay, shredder. <laughs> And last for me, this was all I had to put. For me. Oh, <laughs> it was enough. Last for me was Tina, Teddy. I love you, even though you <laughs> fuck me and everybody else. Campbell dress. <laughs> what did Tina get that dress from? <laughs> It's a no. Hated it. Hated, Hated it. it. Hated, Hated it. Hated it. Hated shredder. Every, everybody Hated everything about that dress. I just want to put the whole Grammys folder in the shredder. Oh, no, because I love Kendrick Lamar. I love Lady Gaga. The children of the Grammys was cute. So all, Even so though you, DJ Khaled had that baby out there again and he looked at time. <laughs> We don't, listen, I don't know what we're going to do about DJ, DJ Khaled. Khaled. Had that baby we done out called there all the way over the past. Oh, he had on a velvet burgundy tuxedo on. <laughs> that baby is so cute. We done called all the way to Pakistan. The grandmother ain't nope. doing that. 
the grandmother, nobody. They ain't came and got the child. Blue Ivy looked cute. She now, Blue like Ivy did look nice. Now, her feet was long. They're talking about <laughs> 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 the shoes on. But she had long feet. And they, 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 she had, on some, she had long feet. feet. And they say Jay-Z looked like an old man. And they did not write <laughs> Beyonce chandelier earrings or her fake wannabe Black Panther hat. Now I like the I like Beyonce and this ain't because I'm trying to suck up. But you I, like the beret. I like Beyonce's whole illusion. You like the whole holy illusion. I like the Beyonce's whole illusion, bitch. So did Jay Z look like her father or no? <laughs> Mm. You know, did, did, they did, say did Blue Jay-Z. Ivy look like her daddy or no? <laughs> Blue Ivy did look. Blue like, Ivy did look like her daddy. Blue Ivy did look like her daddy. So so. Is it a yes for their ensemble? I did. Yes. I like their entire ensemble. And it's not me because I'm scared of the beehive because I ain't scared of them. one of you. Well, they're going to get you by talking about Blue Ivy feet. Because Blue Ivy wears high and listen, she old. Listen, let me tell y'all something. The truth ain't nothing but the truth. That lady foot was... That, that so she said so be after her daddy. <laughs> that lady foot was long as hell. Now, don't act like that baby foot was long as hell. <laughs> Blue Ooh. Ivy looked beautiful. Now, that baby feet were long as the, the Mississippi River. Now, you know that now. <laughs> <laughs> now don't do that. Now they could have put some. Sh- they could have come. They could have put that lady dress all the way down. Ah, come on, ah, 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 you throwing major ah, shades on top of my feet. Nah, now she was beautiful, but them feet. I'm not up. throwing shade tonight, girl. You throwing all the shades talking about blue having feet. For real though. For but real. I mean, y'all saw the so y'all blue saw the shot in the children's though. section for her clothes no. in the men's section. In the, the men's section for her shoes. <laughs> Where one of them baby shoes like that? Find her shoes. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Oh, dude. I love Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> And I love Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga showed Christina Aguilera how she was supposed to song. And she hit that note on Mariah, too. Lady Gaga song good. You know, I love Lady Gaga. I love Dave Chappelle when he was out there with Kendrick Lamar. I love everything about Kendrick Lamar's performance. Pink, I love Pink. And I was happy that little baby Pink got to meet Riri. Everybody's saying Riri was well, big. Is she, Riri pregnant? I'm trying to figure out, is she pregnant? Or is it just that she getting in her thudders and that weight catching up with I don't know because DJ Khaled did put that picture up there and he snatched that picture down and it said thanks and some type of alert. What it picture? said something. He put a picture up. I don't. I didn't print that picture out, but he put a picture up a and picture he snatched. Who? It was a picture of Rihanna. Is she pregnant or is she just letting that I don't know what for Rihanna is, but Rihanna finer than the motherfucker. I ain't even finna sit so up here. So y'all like little Riri or Big Riri? I like I both Riri. 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 I like either Riri, but this 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 thick ass Riri finer than the motherfucker. Okay, so everybody liking the thick Riri or no? This thick Riri is that thick Riri finer than a bitch. I'm trying to explain this to you. Thick so Riri I was happy that Kendrick Lamar won all his, you know, awards and Jay-Z didn't win none. Jigga got nominated eight times. Now, J- now Jay Z d- is old. He got <laughs> nominated eight times and they won one award. And he had boycotted the Grammys for a while, but he was there last night. So I'm like, what you think? What's up with that? Well, you know that Did Beyonce shit. put a spell on him and his Grammy <laughs> wins. You know he married a witch. I mean a bitch. I mean <laughs> Beyonce. I mean Beyonce. So for all that cheating and you know all that cheating that he been doing, did Beyonce put a spell in it on him that so he can't win no Grammy? Now I was giving. I ain't got nothing to do with that sister. Why y'all think Jay Z ain't won no Grammy after all this time? <laughs> sister, he's he deserves it. He ain't sucked the right dick. Ooh, ooh. You know, you got to suck an Oscar to win an Oscar. You got to suck some balls to win a Grammy. I can't see. You know, my vision is... I'm getting... Jay-Z busy. been battling with Donald Trump. Is that why he didn't win no Grammy? Ooh. Did you hear what Jay-Z said about the black people and unemployment and Donald Trump say the unemployment has went down since he been in office? Child, it, it, all that's fake news. That's fake news? That's fake news, bitch. They was all on CNN going back and forth. That's fake news, bitch. Is Jay-Z the right man to run, to go up against Donald Trump or no? I mean, yeah. There's two billionaires battling it out. I mean, it is what it is. If Jay-Z run for president, y'all gonna vote? After he cheated on his wife? Next case. <laughs> Next case. Next case. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up on the docket this week is Miss Jackson. Ooh, Miss Jackson. I like Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson, you are being charged with being digmatized by a no good nigga and not being able to let go. <laughs> Damn. And the no good nigga is this nigga right here. <laughs> Nelly accuser wants judge to order don't sexually assault women. Y'all see that out there? All right, let me read the details of this case before we start sentencing. 
The woman who accused Nelly of raping her has gone mm -hmm. to court and asked a judge to order him not to do other women what she says he did to her. Monique Green mm -hmm. filed new legal docs in her lawsuit against the rapper in which she is asking for an injunction against both Nelly and, seriously, his penis. Mm -hmm. So let me get down here. <laughs> so, so, so She says uh, Nelly at some point will begin masturbating in front of women with the expectation that presenting himself would entitle him to sexual gratification and that the women were drawn to and could not resist they re his penis. What? It was she that says if a woman resists, he sexually accosts and or assaults her and this includes ejaculating on the woman's body. I know Nelly ain't ejaculating on people. So can we do a reenactment of how this situation really goes Wait a minute, so Nelly being charged with ejaculating on holes in the club? <laughs> and Miss Jackson sitting over here writing a whole letter. I got so, to read So what, no, what Miss Jackson... Miss Jackson said, look, I know he fucked up <laughs> and we dealing with that in our relationship to rebuild it and find trust. Having to go through all of this publicity is the worst feeling ever. But this should not open the door for false claims. Those dates, these Jane Doe's are claiming I was at those venues in the dressing rooms and on that tour bus. They was assaulting people together? There are women dealing with real issues of sexual assault and for the first time, people are listening and there is a chance for real change. But all of this work is discredited and makes things harder for the survivors when people lie. Miss Jackson said enough is enough and this was via the shade room. So Miss Jackson standing by her man. Miss Jackson standing by her man. So, so that's why she being charged with being dickmatized. She's been charged with being dickmatized. So she say all them women is lying about her husband or fiance ejaculating on them at the club. So we need to do a reenactment here in the court. So usually this what happen? They be in the club like this, <laughs> and they be bumping, and he and he call her out. So call me out like you, Nelly, your ma. It's getting hot in yeah. here. Ah! So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I wanna take my clothes off. Oh, oh, I am yeah. getting hot. Oh, 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 That's an infection. So she taking up for a nigga that's skeeting no holes in the club. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. She want an infection. <laughs> he ejaculating no holes in the club. I mean, she taking up for him. So that's a lot of ejaculation. <laughs> you, let, you said you let Nelly ejaculate on you for twenty five hundred, cause that's all he paid them hoes was twenty five hundred. Bitch, did it get? Did I get any of that in my mouth? <laughs> ah! You want it in your mouth? Not Ooh. Nelly's. Oh, not Jackson, you, you ought not want it in your mouth either. <laughs> so it's some major things going on in that situation. So, oh, that's how you want Nelly to be on you. Vayla, can you come dust this off me? Vayla, <laughs> come up here and dust that's this. That's how Nelly be skeeting on the wall. Oh my God, come on up here. Get on up here on the bench. Step up here on the bench. Nelly doing something. So, sis, I don't know. What are we charging Nelly with? Sexual assault with a deadly weapon. So we charging Nelly with sexual assault with a deadly weapon. But my question is, what are we going to sentence him to? We need to register him as a sex offender now. <laughs> he needs to be registered as a sex yes. offender. He needs to be registered as a sex Let offender. Let me get his ejaculate off my face. Sister. <laughs> it's all of your nose, all of your eye. We need some tissue, some paper. That, oh, that's how they be, that's how they be coughing up Nelly come. What kind of hoes are be in a nightclub letting a nigga skeet on him? Letting a nigga she come say on. the girl said that it looked so juicy they couldn't resist him. his dick. And Miss Jackson said she was there and none of this didn't happen. So who we gonna believe? Is you know? So do we need to send? Do we need to register them both as sex offenders? She said she was there. So did she join in while he was ejaculating on bitches? A bitch, I don't know what the fuck going on. Bitch, this this shit sound fishy to me. Bailiff, I ain't worried about the hell right now. We got to get this shit situation. <laughs> Bring me the tight rider because I need to put the whole. Uh, the, what needs to happen right now is I needs, I needs Nelly and. Well, you gonna so tell Jackson me what I need. So Jackson is to put. supporting her man. 
Then Miss Jackson is supporting her men. Did she say none of this didn't happen? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Father, come. Oh, oh. Don't move that out the way, sister. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Miss Jackson say none of that didn't happen. Y'all get that. Move that to me. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. And that she's supporting her man. So are they supposed to be getting married? Is she still going on with the wedding after all these allegations have come up? Is she still going to go forward with the wedding or no? Sister, I don't know. But wh wh whatever you tell me to put here in this affidavit, in this because this is this is going to be a warrant, and this is also going to be uh, a warrant, and we're going I'm, I'm just gonna file them both as a. Uh, uh, pedophiles and things of that nature. You, you, Both, not pedophiles, but uh, sexual people are of eighteen of age. So tell me all you what you want, Miss Alpha David. Come on, I'm ready. What they need to do? Register Nelly as a sex offender. <laughs> he is to stay out of all nightclubs and away from all children because he was just at the club. You remember he was playing with that little girl hair? Right. Right. So Nelly is denying all allegations and Miss Jackson is taking up for Nelly. Okay. So we're gonna write her up as being digmatized. I so, think she needs to do a mental health evaluation. Okay. Because I, I think she needs to get away from Nelly. Okay. Because she's standing by him. So we need to evaluate her uh -huh. and register Nelly as a sex offender so women can know to keep their pussies on lock when they get away. Okay, do you want anything in the club? Do you want him to stay away from any clubs? He needs to stay out of all clubs. Why would Nelly be jacking off inside nightclubs if he got Miss Jackson? Do you want this? Do you want this affidavit to uh, not include to take his penis out of the uh, uh, to take his penis? You want? Do you want his? I penis think you need to take some sex addict classes. Sex addict classes. Yes. Can you spell which type of class is it? Is it the one? I don't know. Sex addict. Sex. Uh, you know how they got AA? Do they got a sex AA problem? <laughs> All these whole ass <laughs> niggas that be trying to act like they got, you know, a problem. They they got a, a sex addicts. Uh -huh. You know, like Kirk Franklin say he like to watch porn and all these motherfuckers act like they like, <laughs> you know, they got a disease. So maybe he need to go to a sex addict AA. Okay, se so sex addict AA. Uh -huh. Is there anything that you want him to do with the penis? <laughs> I think that penis need to be folded and tucked. So it can't be in you, so he can't use it. Tuck the penis permanently, tuck, sew that penis to the back <laughs> until we figure out what's going on. Because Nelly say these women is lying on him. What about Miss Jackson? Miss Jackson is supporting him. So, like I said, I think she's been digmatized. So, we're gonna do a mental health evaluation on her. Mental health, uh huh. And uh, we're gonna just have to keep our eye on these two. Do you want any authorities to be standing around the tour bus? All tours are off. Tours are closed? Tours are off until he finishes. He ain't really, he been doing old songs anyway. He been doing so much jacking, he ain't been able to write no more hits. <laughs> so we need him to stop jacking off in the club. Stop jacking off in the club. And write a new hit. New hit. <laughs> while he's in sex anonymous. And Miss Jackson, do you want Miss Jackson to be involved in this? So do, what, what, do you need her? Well, let me add a piece into this. I want Miss Jackson to have her mouth permanently asphyxiated upon the penis. No, because if her mouth is asphyxiated on his penis, she gonna catch every bacteria and disease that he caught from all the holes from the he was jacking off. Better her than she... the holes. <laughs> Better her oh, than the holes yes. that she wanna take up on. She wanna take up on. Let her have her mouth sewn to the type to the top of the uh, penis. Lord ain't gonna want you no more after this. All right, that's it right here. I need you to go ahead on the stamp this right here. Hold on, please stamp this. All right. That's it. All right. <laughs> Bailey, get this out immediately. Okay, I need y'all to come move this thing and put my phone uh, back here up on the table, please. And thank you. Come what do you think Nelly ejaculating on bitches in the club if Miss Jackson was on the tour bus? Girl. Is she lying about Somebody that? Somebody telling a lie. Yeah, good. Put that back over there. We're gonna need <laughs> what do the people want to know? We're going to need this some more, another time during the situation. Give me this thing and let me put this phone She back. said she okay. was there. Where the books say, Give me the books. So I gotta put the phone back up here. We got the, we got a lot of work to do tonight. There's just a lot of stuff going on here tonight. Yes, because next on the docket, we got Flavor Flav. Oh, dear Ooh. God in heaven. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that's I just we just sent that out. That should be in 24 hours. Yes. That's a 24 hour thing. All right. Bitch, it's hotter than the fat bitch pussy in Mexico in right. here. <laughs> Next up on the docket, we got Flavor Flay. Bitch. Flavor Flay, you'll be a child of being too old to be getting monkey stuck in public. <laughs> Now why they why they why that boy swung on Flavor Flav and say Flavor Flav was disrespecting his mama and he had to knock Flavor Flav out down there in a casino in Vegas. And I wanna know why Flavor Flav ain't had nobody with him. He looked like he was by himself when he was down there on the ground. <laughs> I wanna know did Flavor Flav travel to Vegas alone? Or did he all he lived there, yeah. He lived in Vegas. So he was just in the casino, went to running off at his mouth with somebody mama. And got knocked down on the ground. Bitch, I don't know who he had, but I don't know who. Do we have any video footage of that? I thought Flavor Flay was an OG at 65. I think we got some. Do we got any video footage? Do you have any video oh, footage yeah. of that? Please let me see in this. Of other... Flavor Flay getting knocked out? I don't know about so it. What you think Flavor Flay said to make that nigga knock him out in the middle of the club? I don't know was... what he said to motherfucker make that nigga knock him out, but I know what he said while that nigga was knocking him out. What? Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, hold up, hold boy, let me go. Oh, wait, did, hold up. It didn't look like he was fighting back. No, he was not fighting. This here right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the. Let me see some of this right here. I don't know. Your phone moving Just slow. Hit. I did hit play. Oh, okay, it got oh, it. Jesus. Oh, my TMZ God. TMZ reporting Flavor Flav on the ground. Oh, getting beat up. Oh, he down. Oh, he, oh down. he down. He down. He down, sir. He down. He down. He down again. Oh, the nigga swinging. Oh, was that a black boy? White man, that feel like a white man arm. That's a light skin. Oh, that's a white man being famous. Wait a minute, that's a red. That's a light skin nigga. What he finna? No, 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 that ain't no nigga. That look, like he, white. look at the bodyguard one. That nigga must got some hate makers on him. <laughs> that, that's a tall salty. He got them gorilla arms. His arms look like they about seven feet long. I think that's a black man. Look at look, Flay Flay behind behind the machine. He got a hot <laughs> yellow nigga be his ass. Look, look, no, that, look, that's a that's a black man. He, look, he look, yellow. No, 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 no. That's no, a no. yellow nigga. No, that's the police over there trying to get that yellow nigga. Off of Flavor Flav's ass. <laughs> Fuck, dear God. But where's Flavor Flav people at? <laughs> Even Flavor, right there, you didn't see that nigga trying to run. Flavor Flav is 65. Why is he fighting? <laughs> Why is he still fighting in the... What is going on? Do we First of all, y'all ain't got no here. respect for the elders. Flavor Flav is 65. <laughs> and y'all jumping on Flavor Flav out in the streets. We need to put a warrant out on that motherfucker that swung on Flavor Flav. You want a warrant out on yeah, him? Yeah, I want a warrant out for assault on him. You want a warrant out on him? Mm hmm You know, because Flavor Flav didn't look like he did nothing. The, the, the man, the <laughs> light-skinned nigga looked like he swung first. Flavor Flav did not get any licks in. He hit the ground and commenced to running backwards <laughs> with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a nap. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like Flavor Flav was trying to get away. So if Flavor Flav was not the aggressor, I'm going to order some one side for the high yellow nigga that whooped Flavor Flav's ass in the Las Vegas casino. Knowing damn well that if the cameras are How are you going to assault an 85 year old man like that? <laughs> out there in Vegas trying to win his money. Trying to win him some money. You out there trying to assault an 85 year old man. God, uh, well, I don't know why they didn't call motherfucking delicious. Ooh. Ooh. Let's put Delicious ass next on the docket because Flavor Flay should have called Delicious to help him fight that <laughs> nigga that was whooping his ass down there in that casino. So what we gonna do right now, ladies and gentlemen, is warrant side for the nigga that whooped Flavor Flay's ass <laughs> for assault and battery on an elderly okay. senior citizen. <laughs> And, and uh, we need to put Flavor Flav, get some security for Flavor We need to get him protective custody. Mm -hmm. Flavor Flav, we'll order protective custody. For you, so we just gotta get. So they don't make, sure that make sure that y'all, make sure that y'all don't. That, that <laughs> happens. Flair got arthritis. He ain't got time to be fighting nobody. He got arthritis, mm -hmm. lupus, sickle cell, and everything. He ain't here. got no lupus. Flavor Flav ain't looking like T W D. Now don't put that on Flavor Flav. He ain't got no lupus. <laughs> next case. Next case. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Next case. Let me see here. Oh Lord, why you put this? How you always have a problem with this same girl? <laughs> Next on the docket, we have Delicious. I ain't saying nothing about Delicious. What you talking about? I always had this problem with this same girl. This girl should have been there to help Flavor Flay get his ass up off that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she acted like she wanted to marry Flavor Flay. Didn't. Then she married a drug dealer. He went to jail. Then she started fucking a little 12 year old. He don't want her no more. Now she done got her face rearranged and now she don't even look the same. So, so Kaya, you are charging Delicious 
with uh, denying plastic surgery when you know damn well you done been to Dr. Miami. <laughs> for that ass and for that nose. Now, no shade. I'm not going to sit up here in front. I think Delicious is beautiful. I've always thought the Delicious The old Delicious or the new Delicious? I thought both of them was, was beautiful. And I think that when you get small enhancements, it does help because this... Mm. We got right here. This should look like Latoya Jackson. <laughs> delicious is beautiful. So delicious didn't like that nigga nose she had. That wide nose spread across her face. She wanted to get a little nose like Lil' Kim. Oh. So she wanted a big nigga ass and a small white girl nose. Now this was the delicious before. Delicious is gorgeous, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you say. Delicious is the gorgeous, bitch. Deli look, this is the before delicious. The real nigga delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. Y'all yeah, see delicious. According to... Before she got her ass done. According to your And before truth, she got her nose and titties done, that was the delicious. And this is the new... Look this at, is the new delicious where ooh. she done got titties, hips, ass, and nose done, but she's denying it all. She said she was born this way. This bitch is gorgeous. Mm. I don't give a fuck what you say. Now, Delicious is 45 years old, and she went and got all this... This is... And she went and got all this work done. I guess it was a mommy makeover. Uh, you know, she wasn't happy with the nigga nose that she had. You know, the slave nose that her great-great-grandmama gave her that was sitting across her face right here like this right here. She didn't like that. So she wanted a smaller Latoya, Janet, Michael, look him though. <laughs> and it may rearrange her face to where she don't even look the same no more. So this is the new delicious. <laughs> this is the old delicious. This is the new delicious. Now I want to know. <laughs> Allegedly. What delicious do y'all like and who she trying to look good for? She can't keep no man. She ain't got no husband. You know, the nigga, the dope dealer that was from Detroit, he went to prison and she started back doing booty appearances in the club. That bitch is gorgeous, Kaya. I don't give a fuck what you say. So who she look like? Everlasting T.S. who? <laughs> <laughs> All y'all know. <laughs> Looking like transgenders and drag queens, and, and she's all gorgeous. real women, and they are gorgeous. And the transgenders and gra drag queens is trying to be real fish, and you hoes trying to be. Is y'all gonna scrap on dicks and shit? Maybe if they do that, they'll keep a man. <laughs> you did all that work to your face and all that extra points to your ass, girl, and all these pictures. And she is gorgeous. Be, all these pictures you be taking, all these videos you be taking, twisting and walking, showing And she is ass, gorgeous. And she Dr. is Miami gorgeous. Dr. Miami did for you. And girl, you look like a drag queen, T.S. Delicious Everlasting. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Next case, Kaya. Delicious, girl. Go When your nose job heal. Go on down there and see Flavor Flav and help him get his damn face off the goddamn ground. He getting beat up and you getting anesthesia trying to get numb <laughs> and fix your nose. So you saying you like Delicious Nose or no? Delicious is gorgeous, bitch. We the people want to know, do y'all like the old Delicious or the new Delicious? Delicious is gorgeous. The bitch bad. T.S. Delicious Everlasting. <laughs> Next <laughs> Next up on the docket, we have... Oh, my God, Kaya. Why? Y'all did not put these dockets in order, so I just got to go through. Y'all excuse me, honey. You know, we got new we got new caseworkers back there. <laughs> we got new caseworkers. <laughs> we got new caseworkers. Next up on the docket, we have Neo. Neo is on the docket. Neo! Hold it. Neo, you are being charged with improper procreation Ooh. and euthanization of your first baby mother's uterus. Ooh. By con and continuing to have children after forcing her to get her tubes tied, clipped, dyed, burned, and fried. He euthanized his first baby mama? Sister. You know, I got a problem with that shit. Now, now see who I got. That's who I got a problem with. And they sitting over here. They want us to celebrate this. According to the shade room, him and Crystal, him and his new wife, Crystal, they're having a boy. So after he made his first baby mama get her tubes tied, clipped, and burned, he's having a little boy with the new hope. But wait a minute, they wasn't even married, so why would she let a nigga talk her into getting her tubes tied, clipped, and burnt that wasn't even her husband? Child, that's how they, that's... So how many children did she have from Neo? One or two? She had two children from Neo? Or one? You talking about which one? The though? first baby mama. I don't know. I think the first baby mama had two children from Neo. And then she got her tubes tied because Neo said he didn't want any more children. 
but he didn't marry she had, her. He, he, she had her tubes burned. She had her tubes tied, clipped, and burnt for Neo. Burned Neo. For Neo. At, because Neo requested it. Because he didn't, why he didn't go get his shit clipped? He should have had his shit cut off. She was a but dumb bitch. But he promised her. Now he promised her. I think her. I'm going to throw this case out because you was a dumb bitch. You think so? Don't trust no nigga. Get your own shit. <laughs> Suck your own dick, clip your own balls, bitch. Right. So that wasn't your husband, and you let this nigga talk you into getting your tubes tied, clipped, and burnt. But Kaya, the problem I got is now they want us to celebrate him having this new baby, like we don't even, like we don't know what happened. Like, and that's the conversation. What? No, the conversation is, ain't he a gazoo mixed with a little deer talk? <laughs> This case out because I feel as though you was a silly ass bitch to go get your tools tied, <laughs> clipped, and burnt for a nigga. Ain't even your husband done told you to get your tools tied, <laughs> clipped, and burnt. Now you mad. All the rest of these hoes having test tubes, baby. She can still have a baby. Oh, oh. Right? Sister, I, honest to God, I just don't see why a woman would sit up there and allow a man to let to dictate her entire life like that. That dick must be. That be dick material. That dick ain't that good like that. It had to be for her to go get her shit clipped. She I didn't get them clipped, so she got them burned. Burned. Neo ain't want no more children from her. From her. He wanted children from the next bitch. <laughs> That's tired to do. Well, I'm going to throw this case out because you ha should have had more sense than that. And this is a warning for the rest of you bitches. If a nigga tell you to go get your tubes tied, clipped, and burnt, you best run for the hills. Don't trust no nigga. Don't trust no Christian. <laughs> next, next case. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Next on the docket, we have Cheryl Underwood. Uh -oh. Cheryl Underwood. Well, you all right, Sue? Mm -hmm. What that was? Yeah. So you okay? Mm -hmm. That wasn't a deal though down there, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Next on the dock, we have Cheryl Underwood. Cheryl oh, Underwood no. has is is uh you're being called to clear your name. Uh you've been asking Monique, uh you are asking Monique to take less money and to apologize to Tyler Perry <laughs> for uh uh Tyler Perry, Lee Dales, and Oprah Winfrey. So let me get, hold on, let me call. <laughs> so Cheryl Underwood said that Monique need to apologize. Yeah, let me get. And they'll, they'll let her get, but we gotta they'll get take her. that black ball off her, off her neck. <laughs> hold on, let me get, let me, let me call. And she just apologized to these people. She did, hell, on. I've been black ball since I first started. And so I went so out and made a way for myself. Hell, I, the queen been black ball. Oh, wait a minute, I'm down in the road. Never give me this thing right here. Let me, <laughs> just to flip through that and see if you can find that number pass. <laughs> hold that up there where the people can see we got everybody. Number Everybody's number right Flip now. through that and see what we Who you want, Cheryl? No. Cheryl, no. Where Cheryl said this shit at? Cheryl said <laughs> that. You got hold this. On, no. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Call Cheryl. So Cheryl said all, all Monique had to do was apologize because <laughs> Monique was lying that Netflix offered her $3 million and she went to talking about how many Oscars and all everything that she done had and then they said, all right, well, we reviewed all, 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 all your credentials and we just going to give you $500,000. Cheryl? Cheryl? Hello? Cheryl? Well, first, let me be clear. In my conversations on this show and my conversations with Monique individually, I do not recollect ever asking her to take less money, especially if she felt she was violated. Mm -hmm. What I asked her to do and what I was hoping that she would do is make amends with Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, and Lee Daniels because of the comments that she had made that I felt were not, were not serving the purpose. Now, she may not agree with me. And one of them is a goddamn 
goddamn animal running around looking for me, motherfucker. Money! See, I think supposed to audition now they said that now this is this is a this is allegedly alleged <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i need to put this up this is allegedly allegedly monique was supposed to audition at netflix because they came to they brought this they brought she her and her and that man that she called that she called daddy the one that she say raising her <laughs> that's why she called him that because he raising her the husband. She said. I they said know. Monique and that man was friends eleven years before they got married. That she did not just meet him. That they had been friends for eleven years before they got married. That she know him. Well, they. And she trusts him because that's her man. Well, they said yeah. that Monique went to Netflix. Her and Sydney went up there. This is this is allegedly allegedly that they he went up there and they. Uh, 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 asked Netflix, you know, for a deal. Netflix said their budget was low. But, you know, if she auditioned, they would give her three million. She said, why the fuck do I got to audition, bitch? I'm Monique. That's right. She's Monique. And she, they said, well, they... Did them other motherfuckers have to audition? They said that we would give you 500000 This is allegedly. Now, here's my opinion on that. Here's my opinion on that. Monique, ain't nobody seen you except doing the workout videos. <laughs> she did that almost Christmas. And that boy, John Monique Murray... Monique did do a comedy show in the women's prison. Sister, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> she did go and represent for the women's Listen, prison. Listen, Amy Schumer is not funny to me at all, but Amy Schumer has a is more relevant at this time. See, white people work, work in numbers. I don't give a fuck what these... So you think Tyler Perry opened up banded and told people not to hire Monique? I don't think I don't know. I don't Tyler know. Tyler Perry don't need to be worrying about Monique. He need to be worrying about that woman that's claiming she's carrying his shot. What? Mm. Who said that? Some woman saying she got a baby from Tyler. Perry. Child, that's somewhere on the docket. We'll touch that in a minute, bitch. Mm -hmm. We'll touch that in a minute. So what we gonna do? But I, for me, I need to go ahead on and sentence Monique to a, a Queen's Court class because the Queen's Court will train that bitch how to go out there and get that money on her own and don't need nobody. Because we'll sit in this basement and make a million dollars for the basement and I need mean, nothing. From the basement, from the van, from the house, from any motherfucker where we pull up. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you are, are hashtagging Support the Queen's yourself. Court. Hashtag the Queen's Court right now. Hashtag it on Twitter, mm -hmm. on Facebook, on Instagram. Hashtag the Queen's Court right now, bitch. And, put, and tell us what you think we should sentence Monique to. So hashtag the Queen's Court and then tell us what your sentence is. For you still and, saying it's that man that's boosting her up to do this? She need to let that dick go. She talking about that nigga is raising her. Bitch, who's the big ass woman? How in the fuck this nigga raising you? How he raising you? Man, I don't want no dick like that. You don't want no dick like <laughs> that? I don't want no dick, nothing like that. Her and Miss Jackson got, got a lot of shit going on, right? A bitch in the club with her nigga while he nothing no hoes and she out here talking about this nigga is raising me. Bitch, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I, listen, I love Monique, and I think Monique is an exceptional comedian. But it's just at this is at the time now. It the time. Ooh, my titties. Oh no, I I still got oh. Nelly. Nelly, all over I, Nelly still on me. I got the I got the bask and the ambiance for this. Oh Nelly. So hashtag the Queen's Court right now, and please let us know what your sentence is. And please, when you call us tonight, we will be discussing what you think that we should sentence Monique to. So hashtag the Queen's Court. I just want Monique court. to do a comedy. I want Monique you. to do a comedy. And listen, God, they was trying man. to pay her five hundred thousand dollars for for two hours, bitch. These hoes out here telling Monique what they should do. These hoes don't make five hundred dollars a month, mm. <laughs> right? Bitch, these whole food stamp cards don't even equal up to five hundred dollars well, a month. Two eighty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Not if they're in New York City. Oh, they get a little bit more in New York. <laughs> Next game. 
Next case. All right, next up on the docket, we have Erica Badu. Not Miss Badu. Erica Badu. Badu. Erica Badu, you are being charged with getting too high on your own motherfucking supply. No. We the people son Erica in because <coughs> she said something about This is what she said right here. Hitler. Erica Badu. I like Erica. Y'all see I got my African crown on. Erica ain't been the same shit. She took hers on. We got to get her to put her African crown back on and call Andre she and said, Tyrone back. So okay. you can you can get your spirit and your mind balanced. <laughs> you know, because Andre, we need you to put out another album. And Erica, you know, sometimes you go way to Pluto. <laughs> and it's okay, because I, I visit Mars and Saturn too, but not when I'm on no no. no but road. sister, now she did make a statement to the shade room she where say? she stated right here, according to the shade room, <laughs> according to the shade room, Erica Badu said, people are in pain, so I understand why my good intent was misconstrued as bad. I'm In trying to express the point, I use one of the worst examples possible. Okay. Not to support the cruel actions of an unwell, psychopathic Adolf Hitler, but to only exaggerate and show of compassion. Okay, y'all just cleared that up. But at the end of the day, y'all already know how people going to take a mountain and make a move. A mole hill and make a mountain out of it. Look, I was gonna say it backwards. So, y'all, Erica done cleared that up. We are not gonna put Erica in jail behind that statement. She said she didn't mean it. She just wants y'all to have love and compassion for everybody. So, you I just want, I'm gonna send this her, and I need her and Andre to get back together because I want both of them to put an album out. Okay, so you giving her a pass. Um, yes, y'all know I love Erica. All right, well, this is here. All right, so you giving, you, you, Erica, you I'm free to go? I'm sending her to call Andre, because Andre <clears throat> need to get back in the studio, and Erica need to stop to stop with this bullshit. It's, this might be a little, they might be snow, snorting in this nostril and not this one. Erica ain't doing no snorting. Well, they might she be might smoking. She might meditate so hard. They might be smoking a little. <laughs> she just meditating. She ain't doing no snorting. She meditating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, next up on the docket. <laughs> next case. Next case. Next on the docket, we have Too Short. Too Short, you are being charged with taking puss and mouth on multiple occasions without permission. Some women are claiming Too Short done raped her and fucked her and raped her and sodomized her and raped her again. Six times, though. <laughs> she kept going back for more. How the this fuck did you? This did. This sang. <laughs> Stick these balls in your bag. Y'all too short. Uh -oh, you about to make me get up. See, sis, you can't be talking about this. Well, this dick. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Shake that monkey. Shake that monkey. Bitch, you can't work it like that ah. with a dick in her. Oh, did my panties came up? Ooh. I'm sorry. Sister, so, so that's how you feel tonight when well, too short come on. Shit, too short, man. Too short. Too what? short. Been a motherfucking pimp. Too short say bitch. Bitch. Bitch, I don't need to take no pussy, bitch. I'm from Oakland, bitch. Bitch. The queen represent too short. I don't represent Oakland. Too short ain't take that whole pussy. You don't think she too? No, too? she can't. How you gonna take pussy six times from the same bitch at, this, at different and locations? she ain't never run to the police till now. <laughs> <laughs> you know that bitch that Nelly offered 2500 ran to the police immediately. Immediately, They bitch. got his draws and everything else. <laughs> bitch. Too short, you claiming too short raped you four years ago. You just now coming forward. I already told y'all. If y'all don't call the police immediately, I'm not reviewing your case. Maybe Either you call the police immediately <laughs> or next case. Right. Too short and free to go. Y'all know how. So you, so you letting too short go. He free to go. Man, I fucks with Oakland. Too short is a made man. I ain't believing this bitch. All right. So too short, you free to go. Next case. All right. Next up on the docket, we have Kim Kardashian. I'm so Ooh. sick of this whore. We done seen that whore turn inside, upside down. Boy, you turn me. Boy, you turn me. Inside out. <laughs> round. Round. Upside down, you turning me. Bitch, they done turned you inside out, upside down, bitch. We done seen your rectum, your pussy. Bitch, <laughs> bitch we is tired of seeing you, Kim. So, so I'm not going to front. When Ray J was tearing that motherfucking pussy up, I nutted. She ain't look like she could suck me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what she looked like. She, when Ray J was tearing that pussy up over the shoes. Bitch, we tired. <laughs> we tired of seeing you, Kim. <laughs> you t we <laughs> Kim, Kim, oh, we done seen yes, every sir, part no, you of you, You got to feel me with this. When Ray J was long dick in that motherfucking good Armenian pussy. No, it's mm. not good. It's sour. Ooh. Ooh. It's sour. It's sour. We tired, bitch. Who is you trying to get attention for? You just got a newborn baby. We want to see you in the baby's nursery <laughs> with a crochet uh, bla baby blanket rocking Chicago Ooh. West. 
Bitch, we don't. What, where is the newborn baby when you doing all this, Kim? Because the baby didn't come out of your pussy and you stealing all of Kanye's sperm so you can steal all of Kanye's money when you divorce him to go fuck the nigga that you taking these pictures for? Oh. Girl, we is tired of seeing your pussy, Kim. We done seen your pussy. We done seen your man-made ass. We done seen your jaws, your walls. We done seen everything <laughs> pushing in, pushing out. We is tired of you. Where is your husband? Where is your children? Where is North Saint and Chicago at? Why you taking all of these pictures with the <laughs> nanny? <laughs> Upside down. Kanye, where are you at? You stuck in that sunken place Seal was talking about? You letting this bitch jack your dick and steal all your skin so she could get all of your coins. Y'all ain't even laying down having bare back sex. You ain't even fucking this hoe like a rodeo cowboy. This hoe is going to the clinic getting shit injected in other hoes because she don't even want to have your black nigga child out of her pussy. No, sister. She said... Why didn't you name that baby Donna? West. Why did you name that baby Chicago? You ain't been in Chicago in 15 years, bitch. You been held hostage in Kim Kardashian's bathroom because she been seeping sperm out your dick to steal all your money. Why didn't you name that baby after your mama, Kanye? Kim, Upside down. We don't want to see no more shots of your pussies, no more selfies. We want to see the new baby Chicago West. We want to see North smiling and not looking scared because all she sees is you taking pictures of your pussy in the bathroom. We want to see little Saint playing with his sisters. We don't want to see your tired ass no more, Kim. She at the beach running around naked. Your pussy and your booty look like a pamper. It's too heavy. She gonna be like motherfucking K. Michelle in a minute trying to take that shit out of her ass because she look... You should have kept your Armenian ass. I, I don't want to see no more Kim Kardashian. Ooh. What is we going The Lord don't want her. <laughs> no. No, the Lord don't want her. <laughs> no, sir. The Lord don't want her. So you don't want to fall into a prayer right now? No. Ooh. We the gotta say ain't going to work. We got to say the prayer. It just won't work. <laughs> no way. Where's Kanye? We need to get Kanye. What are we sending this in this whore to? I'm tired of looking at you, Kim. So what's your sentence for Kim Kardashian? I want that bitch put in a hole for the oh. next 20 years. Oh. No pictures, no phones, no cameras. <laughs> she ain't had the children, so she not going to miss the children. There's no connection to her and these surrogates' children because if it was, she would be home breastfeeding and, and rocking the new baby that ain't but a week old instead of taking these pictures all over the goddamn internet. I want that bitch put in a hole. <laughs> Mm -hmm. For the next 20 years, when she get out that room, she gonna be what, 55, 65? How old is that whore now? 38? 40. She 40? 50, 60. She already... Put her in the hole. <laughs> put her in the hole. I don't want it to be no mirrors. Do you no want her to go into the sunken no place with... Do you want her to no go into the sunken place with Kanye? Because Kanye is in the sunken place. We got to get Kanye away from her. Where's all Kanye black family members? We ain't seen them since she been with, since he been with Kim. Shit, they in Chicago. They in Chicago. He ain't even busy. <laughs> so what's your sense? Is she going to the black hole? I want the children. You want the children? I want the children. Ain't no woman alive not want to have their own children. Your body ain't too So you mean to tell me after you have a baby. baby. So you mean to tell me, Kai, after you have a baby, you're not going to get on Instagram and put your titty out like that? Your one titty nibble out like that? Milk still coming out the titty. The baby ain't but two No, she didn't have a baby. Exactly. But she need to be in the baby's nursery singing lullabies, knitting and sewing in the rocking chair, not showing her pussy. That means she going to drain Kanye talking about she want another child. She want another child? Kanye... I'm gonna need you to wake up out your sleep. <laughs> Put that bitch in the hole. In the hole? In the hole. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, please hashtag. In the hole, you go. I'm tired of looking at your <laughs> pussy hole, Kim. Please hashtag the Queen's Court because. <clears throat> Kim Kardashian is going in the hole. Everybody in the whole world has seen your pussy. I'm sick of it. Sue Akuda. Sue Akuda. We sick of it. Next case. Next case. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the docket. Oh, my Father God in heaven. This is a repeat offender. Ladies and gentlemen, calling to the court, Wendy, <laughs> Wendell, 
Bartholomew, <laughs> Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde, Theotis, Pookie, <laughs> Early, Samuel, Ellington, <laughs> Williams. Sis, why do we, we locking this bitch up? <laughs> <laughs> we locking you up. <laughs> You are being charged with harboring, aiding and abetting a sexual predator, a.k.a. Aura, Aura, Aura Kelly. You know, Black Twitter and everybody is mad with Wendy because she was on her show taking up for R. Kelly. She say uh, Aaliyah was not forced, that she married R. Kelly willingly, and that the big little girl that R. Kelly was pissing on didn't get up and run. <laughs> Therefore, she wanted the pee to be on her. She's sick of all the Me Too movement. She's sick of all these little young girls acting like R. Kelly is taking their pussy when they have free will and that they can leave at any time. And Black Twitter is not feeling it. They say, Wendy... Those children were 15 and 14 and that uh, Aaliyah's parents did not know that uh, Aaliyah was marrying R. Kelly, that Aaliyah ran off and got married to R. Kelly without her parents' permission and that the little girl that R. Kelly was peeing on was only 15. Therefore, she didn't know to get up and run when urine was splashing <laughs> like a waterfall all over her face and down her throat and she took that 12-inch dick. The other girls that are there that they are claiming that R. Kelly is keeping against their will can leave at any time. They are all over 21 and that they don't want to leave. They made a video saying that uh, parents, please stop, that they want to be with R. Kelly. They love the dick and that they aren't ready to go. So Wendy Williams said that she's tired of the bullshit. R. Kelly is not a sexual predator. And... Um, Black Twitter and, and a lot of the black people in the community are upset with Wendy, Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde, Theotis, Pookie, <laughs> Early, Samuel. What was the last name? Ellington. Ellington Williams. <laughs> Ellington Williams. Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington. So are we uh, going to charge Wendy for taking up for a pedophile or is she know her man ain't no good and she feel like all of the women are always trying to blame the man so she's not going to blame R. Kelly. She's going to blame the girls because her husband got another bitch pregnant and he refuses to leave. And she feels and she like she done already had. She already knew that that man was gonna get was gonna take that woman down there to the children's chop shop upon her order. She ordered him to go. Cause to everything go. is always gonna be fine in Huntersville. That's what mm. she said. <laughs> Well, sister, before we uh, sit to So, up, is Wendy right or wrong? Are those girls, even though they're 15 and 14, uh, wrong for not getting up and, and, and when piss is raining in their face? Or did R. Kelly force her to take all of the urine? Sis, everybody knew that. Some of that shit, I feel like the parents knew that this bitch, this nigga had money. So, was the parents paid? I wouldn't put it past them. That's R. Kelly we talking about. That's not Q. Kelly. That's not T. Kelly. That's not Z Kelly. That's Aura Kelly. We talking about Aura Kelly here, ladies and gentlemen. Aura. I want that wife, the first wife. Seems like you're ready. Seems like you're ready. He know when they ready. <laughs> he he likes to break them chairs and bust them chairs and break them flowers. Aura Kelly. That first wife know what's going on. Aura Kelly. Aura. So Wendy need to mind her own business. I don't know, but before we do that, sister, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have Did to. Did R. Kelly pay Wendy to say that? Well, let's consult the bones. Y'all already know this show is being sponsored by Occult Gems. And Occult Gems, I did a reading with Occult Gems, and she was very accurate. Well, these are the same chicken moss she gave us. That's right. What'd it say? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen their death. He knew that they were weak and naive <laughs> at 14, and he could take advantage of them. And he had the big black snake that come from his hand. The big black snake wiggled in between their thighs. <laughs> and he <laughs> spewed his venom upon their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this show is being sponsored by Occult Gems. Now, for a limited time, you can get your $5 psychic readings 
with Casey at www.occultgems.com. And you know what to expect in your life, your career, your finances, and more. Yes. Let Casey reveal if your man is cheating or not. And if you should jump on the dick or snatch the cat back. Or if you would let R. Kelly pee on your child. <laughs> but that's not all. You can also pick up your birth charts and love charts as well as purchase your love spells, breakup spells, and you broke holes can definitely get your money spells. Court case spells for you thieves, robbers, bitches, horse sluts, and R. Kelly. Ooh. And more at www.occultgems. Dot com. Let's, ladies and gentlemen, that's www.occultgems. She the one did that spell for Beyonce. Why Jay Z ain't going no Grammys? <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> so I don't know what we gonna send this to, honey. We gonna have to. We gonna have to go ahead on and uh, we put these chicken bones back. Thank you, Occult Gems, for these chicken bones. They always coming in. And they listen. She's accurate and on point. That's right. Occultgems.com. Y'all go to YouTube. Occultgems.com. www.occultgems.com. Yes. That's right. So, until Occult Gems get back with us with the sentence. We'll let you it's guys know. It's filled up in limbo. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Next case. Next case. Next up on the docket, we have Jennifer Screamer Screamer Hudson. <laughs> Jennifer Screamer Hudson is here filing a petition with the Queen's Court for Uga Tuga Zuga. Zuga. Mm -hmm. Uga Tuga Zuga. She won't Uga, according to the shade room. Jennifer Hudson wants the court to make an ex Uga Tunga Zunga. Zunga get a motherfucking job. She tired of taking care of the housewives. Like, girl, I mean, but sis, now, I, like, like you, like we said before on the last week on the Queen's Court three, four, five episodes ago, you said you commend her for not marrying Unga Tunga. She Zunga. knew. Because she knew that that was when she went out there and got that black Christian man with that long ass say dick to be long dicking her from the bike. She did. But if you women want these men to take care of you and the child, should Jennifer not take care of him and the child if he's keeping the child while she's on the road mm -hmm. and on the go? Mm -hmm. So what we gonna send it? We gonna send it over to Gazuga Gazuga Boom? She got what? Why won't the babysitter? <laughs> I'd rather for the babysitter to at least be his father. She gonna have to pay somebody to keep the child while she out there getting that African dick. The African saved it. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He need, she need to pay Uga Tuga Zuga Duga. You think? Because at least she ain't got to worry about no nanny doing nothing to her child. That's his daddy. So, so this is where I'm conflicted with you right here. I think that Uga Tunga Zuga needs to get a motherfucking job. His job is paying for his son. Right. He need to get, but not with in her In 2018, money. Not with can't her. trust your children with no nannies. You see all this shit going on in Hollywood. But not with her money. You the, you skid in her, bitch. You don't need to be taking care of the baby with her. Why mother. can't he be a house a house husband? I don't know about him being a house husband, but I, he probably could be a house wife mm. of Chicago. Mm. Mm. That's what. So they what, say. What, what, what 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 we gonna send him to? That nigga need a motherfucking job. We sent this to him to two years at Burger King. <laughs> no, this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna send this him to two years at the child care where the, uh, the child get free child care because he working there. And then let the child care. He he well, he keeping the child anyway. He need to work at the daycare center. But he oh, well, when he get off from the daycare center, since you send him, to, I'm sending him to two years at Burger King. Why you want him at Burger King? Because he, Jennifer Hudson need to have it her way. Oh. Mm. Next, case. Next case. All right. Next up on the docket, we have Tyler Perry, aka Madea. Madea. Tyler Perry, you are being charged with child and neglect. Child neglect because he ain't claiming this woman's child. Child, this woman that came for, according to Baller Alert, Baller Alert, a random woman. This is according to Baller Alert. Look at the woman. Is she a midget? Child, this oh. one of the women that came out to his play. This, this she definitely like somebody like, from the little people. She like a bitch after that. The, um, Listen. Right. Brandon woman alleges that she's married to Tyler Perry and shares a child with him. Look at that. Now, she's married to Tyler Perry? Well, I know Tyler Perry got one bit child from somebody, but what? Allegedly. <laughs> she so she's saying. claiming she's married to Tyler Perry and she got his love child? All this shit we say... <laughs> <laughs> Is it his child or no? No. 
Is it his child or is it Madea's child? It seemed like Tyler would have went to you the know same what? surrogate Kim Kardashian. No, went actually, to. I don't think he put no dick in no pussy. No, actually, Madea was a surrogate. Madea carried that baby, and Tyler, Tyler, Madea carried that baby. I think she was paid. I don't know. So what we gonna do, Kyle? Is we gonna get a suave test? We gonna get a suave test? We gonna reorder a suave, a suave test? Suave test. To see if Tyler been hitting that pussy. And if, and if, if Tyler be here and if Madea carried the child. Baylor, we need y'all to get out there and get a swab test. We need y'all to get a we need y'all to get a Q tip and open Madea's mouth Ooh. and Tyler Perry's mouth. Yes. And I need you to put that in a Ziploc bag and I need you to get it out here to Conjures, Georgia immediately. Immediately. All right. Next case. Next case. Next case. Oh girl. Next up on the docket, we have Caitlyn Jenner. Hmm. Caitlyn Jenner, you are being called here to the Queen's Court because your sentence has been modified because the Queen's Court is the highest court in the land. Sus, do you know that Caitlyn Jenner has to fork over $800,000 in the fatal settlement of the car crash? Now, you know, yeah, two years ago, it's been two years, Kayla Jenner had done hit them peoples and killed them peoples over there in that car. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's been ordered, oh, excuse me, she, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't mean to do that. I'm drunk a little bit. I'm sorry. I, I told you. Let me fix that pronoun. No, 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 I got to fix that. I, I, is you fucking Ivanovich? She needs to, she needs to be retried. So what we here at the Queen's Court are going to do, this is, so I got this. Okay. <laughs> Caitlin and Bruce. Oh, I told you it's back to Bruce. Both of you hoes <laughs> got to pay $800,000 a piece. Y'all not getting away with paying eight hundred. dollars You're not getting away with just paying $800,000 one time. You need to pay $800,000 a piece. This is what the Queen's Court is fixing you to. You need to pay $800,000 motherfucking dollars a piece. Okay? <laughs> Bitch, Bruce need to pay $800,000. <laughs> Caitlyn need to pay 800 motherfucking thousand, bitch, okay? That's for this fatal car crash settlement. How many people died? Bitch, I think one person died. Didn't one person die? Craig, look up the goddamn story. One person died. So Bruce and Caitlyn got to pay the fine. They got to pay the motherfucking fine. Two they, times. Twice. And one of you bitches got to do jail time. I don't give a fuck which one of y'all do it. I don't give a fuck if Bruce do it or Caitlyn do it. But Caitlin one of you bitches... Let me tell you something. One of you hoes got to do that jail time. How it, long? Bitch, you got to do 80 years. Damn. You already 80 years old, bitch. You got to do the rest 80 years. One of you motherfuckers got to do 80 years. I think Bruce will get more, uh, Caitlin to get more snacks than Bruce. <laughs> Caitlin, you better do the time, and Bruce, you pay the fine. And I'm going to tell you why I'm so harsh with you, because if it was a black transsexual, Life. they'd have threw that bitch away. The first, she'd have hit a bitch, killed the bitch, and they'd have put that hoe up on it. She'd have been missing. <laughs> they'd, have found, they'd have been looking for that hoe on a milk cart. <laughs> so for you, Caitlyn Jenner and Bruce Jenner, I'm here, I'm here at the Queen's Court is sentencing you, bitch, to fork over... 800,000 from Bruce, 800,000 from Caitlyn. Bruce, you pay the fine. Caitlyn, you do the time. That's how we gonna do it. Nobody was killed. Oh? Nobody was killed. Somebody did die. Well, they're saying that it was a, a husband, a wife, and the two sons. So, the so why he got to pay if ain't nobody died. Fatal oh, car fatal. crash, bitch. That's fatal means that there's a death. Yeah. Fatal. I read that whole... Three, four years ago with the same shit that the bitch got up. I remember that, that was about the same time Serena's sister killed them people on the interstate. What else was the name? One woman dead. It was fatal, bitch. Somebody yeah. is dead. <laughs> so, bitch, one of you hoes need to do time. I don't give a fuck if it's Bruce or this motherfucking case. They're going to do the time and Bruce going to pay the fine. Either way it go, because they both will get fucked in jail. Mm. Ooh. And next case. Next case. <laughs> All right. Next up on the docket, we have Fatty Watt. 
Fatty Wap, you're being charged with being a one-eyed nigga impregnating dog pussy hoe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sister, you wrote that. One-eyed, one-horned, blind, purple people. <laughs> that what that bitch look like impregnating these dog-ass hoes. Because one of the hoes he got pregnant, the bitch had a premature baby. The baby ain't even two weeks old. She already at the club, already twerking, already taking pictures all out. Bitch, yo, yo, you ain't, bitch, you still open, girl. You ain't even healed. Your pussy ain't even healed. You still bleeding. You already out. He keep having these babies from these thought ass baby mamas, and I'm concerned about why they ain't worrying about their children having eyes like uh, eyes like him. Fatty Watt was expected seven baby. God damn it! Now the shade room just posted uh, the other day uh, the baby mama. She said, "Bitch ass nigga, <laughs> stay the fuck from around me and my daughter. I see you in court. I'm not keeping quiet no more." Drop that money off for a lot a layer before you leave out of why they be naming their children. Why do you worry about your daughter having an eye sperm and you hold since what let some of that skeet get in and see that your eye be closed like his. What it is? A one eyed, one horned, blind, purple people leader. Because only that kind of person keep having unsex the sex and drop it. Listen, the baby mama said, Hey, at Kissy Wowie. Can you wake my baby daddy up and tell him I said she has a few hours? If not, tell him I'll see his ass in court and I hope you use a condom sweep. All they trying to do is get his money. Them bitches don't like him for real. And then you keep skeeting in these hoes, letting all these hoes get all your coins for child support. Boy, he need to get a vasectomy. I'm ordering for his nuts to be cut. Mm. He can't even see the pussy that he going up in. Mm. I don't want him to have no more children. You want his nuts to be and cut? And since he want to be a stupid ass nigga, I'm ordering all his money to go to all eight, seven. How many he got? Seven or eight. I don't know. There's too many children. Too many children. How old is this nigga? He a young nigga. 20 got something. Me. I think he 26. He must got some good old dick. I don't even think the dick. I, I watched the dick on, I saw it on a, on a, what is it called? Chi Chi? What's the name of the, the <laughs> site? I be looking at all the dicks on. He was on there? I saw uh, Ply's dick too on there. How, how big was it? Sister, I sent it to you. What's it? What's that site that all, the, all the boys be on fucking? What's the tongue? Tumblr. Yeah, they be all in there fucking on Tumblr. And how big it was? I don't think his dick ain't even big. I think they just know he a dummy. And they trying to secure the bag. But one of y'all children, I gonna come out just like here. That's what you gonna get. Same the song for we go, so. One eyed, one horn, blind, purple, people. <laughs> one eyed, one horn, blind, uh, Put an 808 behind. Oh, woom, 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 woom. Oh, people eat That's how he getting that pussy. Uh, 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 uh. People eat a uh, child, uh, 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 make a people eat a uh, 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 one eyed people eat a uh, <laughs> yes, uh, 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 I say a people eat a uh, 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 these hoes uh, was pregnant at the same time, a petty people eat they a they was uh, having premature babies at the same time, uh, uh, pregnancy photo shoots at the same time, all you niggas fighting over this nigga. Clip them balls. I don't want him to have no more children. And them hoes, instead of getting all his money, I don't want them to be eligible for any child support. No child support. They ain't eligible for no child support. But I want all Fetty Wap money and put it in the escrow account to them children. Get 18 and give it to the children because them hoes ain't getting a dime. Because they trying to be slick. And, 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 and since he dumb as fuck, I'm garnishing all of his money. And I'm going to save it for all eight of the children for when they get 18, they'll have college. But I did the money. I gotta talk to you this morning. I, see, I, I think right now you feeling like you becoming a grown woman. Because that shit you poured in the kitchen, I should have fucked you up. But I let you walk away. And I let you come get yourself together. But bitch, I'm gonna let you know if you ever on me again, that will be your last time. Did you just hold on Scott me in again? I promise you that. You will send a white bitch to my motherfucking buzzer. I'm not gonna let this bitch Scott in again. You. You're a dummy bitch. You will never know shit. This bitch Don't stay interrupted by show. I need you. You done fucked around and fucked my motherfucking man. This bitch and had two motherfucking children. And one of them is a goddamn animal running around looking crazy as a motherfucker. Bitch, 
you know what? She called block. That's what she did. You trying me? She trying me? I think you really trying to fuck with me. You fucking with my money. And you gonna stand up there and look down at me like you're a motherfucking woman? I'm gonna show you what real women do, bitch. So you don't know what real motherfucking women do. Real motherfucking women sacrifice. This quit calling here, goddammit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was our Queen's Court tonight. Please make sure that you are following up with the hashtag Queen's Court. Visit us online at www.thequeenscourt.com. We will see you guys loud, loud, in any color in Washington, D.C., February the 17th, bitch. We're going to be loud, loud, in any color, bitch. And make sure you come back here every Monday night using the hashtag The Queen's Court. My Crayon Case. Please. I love this yes, shit. Y'all make sure y'all order My Crayon Case.com. Yes. Occultgems.com. And thank you to all of our sponsors and all of our people out there that loves The Queen's Court. We are about to get on our social media over here on our uh, Instagram and take the calls live. So if you were in the queue, we're about to take calls live, which is going to be recorded for the podcast. And if you guys follow the podcast, make sure that you are subscribed to it on SoundCloud, Spotify, Google, what is Play, it? Google Play, Stitcher, Stitcher tune, in. tune In. Oh, we got one last sponsor. Craig, come over here and tell us sure. about your book before we go. Uh, Thank you very I'm much. Bitch, I'm drunk. New Orleans, bitch. What's up? Where your book at, Craig? My book is available through Amazon, all of the e-readers, and audible.com. The first book is called Words Never Spoken. The second oh, is... Off the Chain. Yes, Y'all gotta read it. Certain two things for sure. And the last book is So Much to Say, A Book of Quotes. All right. Craig, and the you just did a podcast. Craig, writer, Craig, yeah. You just did a podcast too. with my mama. Yeah, with your mama. Yeah. It's called So Much to Say. And it's also on the same platforms that the Queen's Court podcast yeah. is. Thank you for sponsoring uh, our yeah. show. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that you're digging your purse and stuff on something. <laughs> if you want to be a sponsor, please please visit us at www, oh, fuck, www.thequeenscourt.com <laughs> and also email us at Queen's Court Docket at AOL.com. Bitch, we about to get on up out of here. Book bitch. a show. I'm drunk. Buy an album. Yeah. Book I'm, the next caller tour. I'm drunker than a motherfucker, sister. Them tired assholes <laughs> got the Queen's uh, 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 hip hop tour going on. Who, sir? And they motherfucker invite the Queen. Y'all could have left that shit on the East Coast. Mm. Oh, sis, here you go. We won't, we won't be talking. Fuck them other hoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all head over there to our Instagram.